The, Bibli the Biblical Evidence That Muhammad Is Not a False Prophet Bible Prophecies of Muhammad Part 1 Part 1 of Four Witnesses of Scholars Description The difficulties faced in discussing biblical prophecies and accounts of some scholars who attested that Muhammad has been alluded to in the Bible. Preliminary Issues The Bible is the sacred scripture of Judaism and Christianity. The Christian Bible consists of the Old Testament and the New Testament. With the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox versions of the Old Testament being slightly larger because of their acceptance of certain books not accepted as scripture by Protestants. The Jewish Bible includes only the books known to Christians as the Old Testament. Furthermore, the arrangements of the Jewish and Christian canons differ considerably. Bible Encyclopedia Britannica from Encyclopedia Britannica Premium Service Prophet Muhammad has been prophesied in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. Jesus and the Apostles are believed to have spoken Aramaic. Aramaic continued in wide use until about AD 650, when it was supplanted by Arabic. Aramaic Language Encyclopedia Britannica from Encyclopedia Britannica Premium Service The present-day Bible is not, however, based on the Aramaic manuscripts, but on Greek and Latin versions. Quoting the Bible prophecies does not entail that Muslims accept the present-day Bible in its entirety as God's revelation. For the Islamic belief on previous scriptures, please click here. It is not a precondition of acceptance that a prophet be foretold by an earlier prophet. Moses was a prophet to Pharaoh even though he was not prophesied by anyone before him. Abraham was God's prophet to Nimrod, yet no one prophesied his coming. Noah, Lot, and others were true prophets of God, yet they were not foretold. The evidence of a prophet's truth is not limited to old prophecies, but it includes the actual message brought by him, miracles and more. Discussing prophecies is a delicate matter. It requires sifting through Bible versions and translations, recently discovered manuscripts and searching out Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic words and investigating them. The task becomes especially difficult when Prior to the printing press, 15th century, all copies of Bibles show textual variations. Biblical Literature Encyclopedia Britannica from Encyclopedia Britannica Premium Service This is not an easy subject for lay people. For this reason, the best testimony comes from ancient and modern experts in the area who acknowledge the prophecies. We have records of early Jews and Christians, both monks and rabbis, who witnessed that Muhammad was the fulfillment of specific Bible prophecies. The following are some examples of these people. The Awaited Prophet Pre-Islam Jews and Christians of Arabia were awaiting a prophet. Before the appearance of Muhammad, Arabia was home to Jews, Christians, and pagan Arabs who, on occasion, went to war with each other. The Jews and Christians would say, The time has come for the unlettered prophet to appear who will revive the religion of Abraham. We will join his ranks and wage fierce war against you. When Muhammad actually appeared, some of them believed in him, and some refused. This is why God revealed. And when there came to them a book, Quran, from God confirming that which was with them although before they used to pray for victory against those who disbelieved but then, when there came to them that which they recognized, they disbelieved in it. So the curse of God will be upon the disbelievers. Quran 2 hours 89 minutes The Quran came to them from Allah, agreeing with the universal true principles of the Torah and the Gospel. Before it was revealed, they used to say that they would be helped against the idolaters, who worship others alongside Allah, and would have success over them when a prophet was sent. Since they would have faith in him and follow him. But when the Auran and Muhammad, peace be upon him, came to them, according to the description they recognized and the truth they knew, they disbelieved him. Allah curses those who disbelieve him and his prophet. Al-Baqarah 89 The first witness was Bahara, the Christian monk, who recognized Muhammad's prophethood when he was still young and told his uncle. A great fortune lies before your nephew, so take him home quickly. Muhammad, his life based on the earliest sources by Martin Lings, page 29. Sirat Rasul Allah by Ibn Ishaq translated by A. Ghilane, pages 79 to 81. The Quran and the Gospels, a comparative study, page 46 by Dr. Muhammad Abu Layla of Azza University. The second witness was Waraka Ibn Nafil, a Christian scholar who died soon after a solitary meeting with Muhammad. Waraka attested Muhammad was the prophet of his time and received revelation exactly like Moses and Jesus. Muhammad, his life based on the earliest sources by Martin Lings page 35. 
The Jews of Medina were anxiously awaiting the arrival of a prophet. The third and fourth witnesses were their two famous Jewish rabbis, Abdullah Ibn Salam and Mekarik, the Quran and the Gospels. A Comparative Study, page 47 by Dr. Muhammad Abu Layla of Aza University. The sixth and seventh witnesses were also Yemeni Jewish rabbis, Wab Ibn Yunabi and Kabi al Aber, d. 656 c. Kabi found long passages of praise and a description of the prophet prophesied by Moses in the Bible, the Quran, and the Gospels. A Comparative Study, pages 47 to 48 by Dr. Muhammad Abu Layla of Aza University. The Quran states Is it not a sign to them that the learned men of the children of Israel knew it, as true? Quran 26 197. Was it not a sign of your truthfulness for these people who reject you, that the scholars of the Israelites like Abdullah bin Salam knew the reality of what has been revealed to you? Surah Ash Shura 197. Bible Prophecies of Muhammad, Part 2 of Four Old Testament Prophecies of Muhammad. Description, a discussion on the prophecy mentioned in Deuteronomy 18 verse 18, and how Muhammad fits this prophecy more than others. Deuteronomy 18 verse 18. High God will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, Moses, and will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Many Christians believe this prophecy foretold by Moses to be in regards to Jesus. Indeed Jesus was foretold in the Old Testament, but as will be clear, this prophecy does not befit him, but rather is more deserving of Muhammad. May the mercy and blessings of God be upon him. Moses foretold the following. 1. The prophet will be like Moses. Areas of comparison, birth. Moses, normal birth. Jesus, miraculous, virgin birth. Muhammad, normal birth. Areas of comparison, mission. Moses, prophet only. Jesus, said to be son of God. Muhammad, prophet only. Areas of comparison, parents. Moses, father and mother. Jesus, mother only. Muhammad, father and mother. Areas of comparison, family life. Moses, married with children. Jesus, never married. Muhammad, married with children. Areas of comparison, acceptance by own people. Moses, Jews accepted him. Jesus, Jews rejected him. He, Jesus, came unto his own, but his own received him not. John 1 verse 11. Muhammad, Arabs accepted him. Areas of Comparison, Political Authority Moses, Moses had it, number 1536 Jesus, Jesus refused it, John 18 verse 36 Muhammad, Muhammad had it Areas of Comparison, Victory over Opponents Moses, Pharaoh drowned Jesus, said to be crucified Muhammad, Meccans defeated Areas of Comparison, Death Moses, Natural Death Jesus, claimed to be crucified. Muhammad, natural death. Areas of comparison, burial. Moses, buried in grave. Jesus, empty tomb. Muhammad, buried in grave. Areas of comparison, divinity. Moses, not divine. Jesus, divine to Christians. Muhammad, not divine. Areas of comparison, began mission at age. Moses, 40. Jesus, 30. Muhammad, 40. Areas of comparison, resurrection on earth. Moses, not resurrected. Jesus, resurrection claimed. Muhammad, not resurrected. 2. The awaited prophet will be from the brethren of the Jews. The verse in discussion is explicit in saying that the prophet will come amongst the brethren of the Jews. Abraham had two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. The Jews are the descendants of Isaac's son, Jacob. The Arabs are the children of Ishmael. Thus, the Arabs are the brethren of the Jewish nation, Muhammad, his life based on the earliest sources by Martin Links, pages 1-7. to The Bible affirms, And he, Ishmael, shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Genesis 16 verse 12 And he, Ishmael, died in the presence of all his brethren. Genesis 25 verse 18 The children of Isaac are the brethren of the Ishmaelites. 
Likewise, Muhammad is from among the brethren of the Israelites, because he was a descendant of Ishmael the son of Abraham. 3. God will put his words in the mouth of the awaited prophet. The Quran says of Muhammad, Neither does he speak out of his own desire, that, which he conveys to you, is but a divine inspiration with which he is being inspired. Quran 53,3-4 And he did not speak this Quran out of following his desires. This Quran is nothing but a revelation which Allah revealed to him through the medium of Gabriel, peace be upon him. An-Najm 3-4 This is quite similar to the verse in Deuteronomy 18 verse 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Deuteronomy 18 verse 18 The prophet Muhammad came with a message to the whole world, and from them, the Jews. All, including the Jews, must accept his prophethood, and this is supported by the following words. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. Deuteronomy 18 verse 15. 4. A warning to rejectors. The prophecy continues. Deuteronomy 18 verse 19. And it shall come to pass that, whosoever will not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. In some translations. I will be the revenger. Interestingly, Muslims begin every chapter of the Quran in the name of God by saying, Bismillah I Rahman I Rahim. In the name of God, the most merciful, the dispenser of grace. The following is the account of some scholars who believe this. Prophecy to fit Muhammad. The first witness. Abdullah Had Dawud, the former Rev. David Benjamin Kaldani, B.D., a Roman Catholic priest of the Uniat Chaldean sect, read his biography here. After accepting Islam, he wrote the book, Muhammad in the Bible. He writes about this prophecy. If these words do not apply to Muhammad, they still remain unfulfilled. Jesus himself never claimed to be the prophet alluded to. Even his disciples were of the same opinion. They looked to the second coming of Jesus for the fulfillment of the prophecy. Acts 3 verses 17 to 24. So far it is undisputed that the first coming of Jesus was not the advent of the prophet like unto thee and his second advent can hardly fulfill the words. Jesus, as is believed by his church, will appear as a judge and not as a lawgiver, but the promised one has to come with a fiery law in his right hand. Ibid page 156 The Second Witness Mohammed Assad was born Leopold Weiss in July 1900 in the city of Lwów, German Lemberg, now in Poland, then part of the Austrian Empire. He was the descendant of a long line of rabbis, a line broken by his father, who became a barrister. Assad himself received a thorough religious education that would qualify him to keep alive the family's rabbinical tradition. He had become proficient in Hebrew at an early age and was also familiar with Aramaic. He had studied the Old Testament in the original as well as the text and commentaries of the Talmud, the Mishnah and Gemara, and he had delved into the intricacies of biblical exegesis. The Targum Berlin to Mecca, Muhammad Assad's journey into Islam by Ismail Ibrahim Nawab in the January-February 2002 issue of Saudi Aramco magazine. Commenting on the verse of the Quran. And do not overlay the truth with falsehood, and do not knowingly suppress the truth. Quran 242. Do not hide the truth, which he revealed to his prophets, with lies and falsehood. And do not hide the truth of the description of Muhammad which came in his scripture, when you know what the truth is and are convinced of it. Al-Baqarah 42 Muhammad Assad writes By overlaying the truth with falsehood is meant the corrupting of the biblical text of which the Quran frequently accuses the Jews and which has since been established by objective textual criticism. While the suppression of the truth refers to their disregard or deliberately false interpretation of the words of Moses in the biblical passage, the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. Unto him ye shall hearken, Deuteronomy 18. 15. And the words attributed to God himself, I will raise them up a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, Deuteronomy 18 verse 18. The brethren of the children of Israel are obviously the Arabs, and particularly the Mustariba, Arabianized, group among them, which traces its descent to Ishmael and Abraham. And since it is this group that the Arabian prophet's own tribe, the Quraysh, belong, the above biblical passages must be taken as referring to his advent. Muhammad Assad 
The Message of the Quran, Gibraltar, Dar al-Andalus, 1984, pages 10-11. to 11.